and welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy and I'm here today with another pick a card reading for you. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers and to anyone who has stumbled across the channel for the first time today. Welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I do pick a card readings on this channel. I try to release a couple times a week. So get cozy, pull up a chair. We're going to have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather around my table. For today's pick a card topic, we are looking at the connection on your mind and what action will this person take towards you in the next 30 days? So are they going to be reaching out to you? Are you guys going to be going out? Maybe they will take action towards committing to your relationship, but what action will they take towards you in the next 30 days? We do have three piles to choose from. Pile number one with the fox spirit and the red flower. Pile number two with the rabbit spirit and the sunflower. And pile number three with the squirrel spirit and the pink rose flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages today waiting and my timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump into pile number one. I also wanted to take a moment to mention to my brand new subscribers or to anybody new on the channel today that I do offer a chance to win a free tarot reading for my subscribers as a thank you for your presence here. And all you have to do is drop your comment below any of my readings this month for your chance to win. Uh, be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so, if you'd like to be considered as the winner so that I can notify you and get the ball rolling. And I will notify you via the comment section, but I will give you crystal clear intentions on how to reach out to me so that you don't end up misdirected to somebody else. So pile one, pile two, pile number three, the person on your mind, what action will they take towards you in the next 30 days? Hello, pile number one, you were drawn to the red flower or to the fox spirit, and this is your reading. What action can you expect the person on your mind to take towards you in the next 30 days? Now the fox spirit says, think on your feet. So I sometimes feel of a, a quick procession or something happening in a quick way. There also, there's a lot of logic associated with this situation or with the fox energy and, and somebody who perhaps is drawing upon logic instead of drawing upon their emotion in their heart space. This is also talking about maybe being caught off guard in some way too. So let's take a look and see. Oops, what action can you expect them to take in the next 30 days towards you? We have the Page of Swords, the Lovers. We also have the Lovers coming out with the Seven of Cups in this moment as well. We have the chariot. We have the sun. We have the ace of swords. Back of the deck, we do have the three of fire and we have the hermit energy. So we have Virgo very present here. Also Cancer, Leo, Gemini, very, very strong here. So let's clarify with another deck as we go forward. Now, what's really exciting is that the back of deck is the three of fire, is momentum, is movement. I feel as though there are plans being forged right this moment surrounding you, surrounding the connection, especially if you are the divine feminine at this moment. I'm also getting an emphasis on like institutional energy like schools or something or work perhaps this person could be a part of your school realm your work realm please take that as it resonates that's not for everyone you have the temperance judgment oh we also have the three of cups in the tower coming out as well as supports there's a lot going on here but if you were worried about them not taking action towards you over the next 30 days, Spirit says you don't have to worry about that. You have the Eight of Cups. And I feel like you've been kind of waiting for this person or maybe they've retreated a little bit. We have the Empress. The Death Energy. Back of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the King of Wands showing itself as well. So I feel like in the next 30 days, Pile 1, this person is going to take action towards you and it feels like the action that they take is going to almost be surprising for you. I don't think it's what you anticipate, which is why perhaps you have to be the one to think on your feet because it seems to pop up when you don't really expect it. I feel like it's something you want, but you have to be careful what you wish for because you just might get it here because you're being 
they're showing that this connection is having a beautiful momentum towards fresh starts, new perspectives, maybe moving out of a friendship and into something a little bit more like a physical relationship of some kind. I just feel like you've been, part of you is almost like tired of waiting for this person, but in the next 30 days, they're going to bring in this epiphany. They're going to, and they've been, I think they're planning it now. I feel like they're worried about what they're going to say and how they're going to say it. But it's like they're hitting the ground running and they're rushing towards you, hoping that you'll catch them, <laughs> hoping that you'll be right there with them in that relay race. Because I feel like you have decisions to make when it comes to the way that they approach you. Because you still have the ultimate authority about where you want this to go and how quickly you want it to go. But if this has just been in a talking phase, for instance, if there's been a lot of confusion between the two of you, if it felt more of like a friend's energy than, than a relationship energy, I feel like that's completely going to be cleared away for you in the next 30 days. There will be no question in your mind. <laughs> You'll have crystal clear in um, focus or crystal clear understanding about what this person wants. And the truth is, is that the action that they take feels very, very fiery. I feel like you will have to think on your feet. It almost feels like getting together and then like surprising someone with a kiss or surprising someone with a touch. Um, it feels very physical, the action that they will take towards you. And it, they're just highlighting hot sauce as well. And they're highlighting like the divine feminine really offering a lot of inspiration for that. Like sh she's abundance, that you're abundance. Whether you're the divine feminine or the divine masculine, it's all energy, your abundance. And so there's a, a feeling of you getting caught off guard, you having to think on your feet because you may be the one who's normally s supposed to focus on logic, but this person's gonna catch you off guard. And then there's this new sort of perspective this new perspective that you even have towards them. It's like they're showing you a different version of themselves that they have never shown you before in the next 30 days. And this decision that you have to make here could include whether or not we're going to move into a relationship. Again, I feel like a very fiery approach coming towards you. It could be a very physical act that they, they, that they lead with. Because I feel like the two of you spend time together, I've, especially in the recent past, I just see a lot of collaboration. And I also see kind of like a lot of obvious signs between the two of you that maybe you're both choosing to ignore or you're choosing to create delays with because you're worried that now's not the time or you're waiting for the perfect moment to launch. I also just feel like this, per like you drive this person crazy. Like they really find you really, really physically attractive, but they haven't shared that with you. They almost feel shy to me. Like they're not the type that you would think would be very physical in their actions towards you, but this is them trying to, to change, trying to shift, trying to get the sweet results that await because of this divine feminine. So you inspire this person to act towards you in this way. And because you are the future, because you are the one who's directing that future, you get to decide what this death cycle actually entails for you. Does it speak about the ending of a friendship and into something more? Does it talk, speak about the a fresh new perspective that you're holding over this connection overall? You get to decide. We have here the great severing. It says here, anger, conflict, but softening to love. So if there have been conflicts in the past, especially if, if you've been feeling frustrated with delays and you've been drawing your energy backwards, there's going to be this softening of you. If Even if they're kind of intimidated to approach, I feel like you are going to kind of melt like jelly. We also have the seas of Mintaka, seeing potential and bringing the unconscious into light. So they're going to start to share with you how they're feeling. But the truth of it is that I don't know that it's going to be necessarily a proclamation. I feel like their actions are going to speak for them. But it gives you the potential. You start to see the potential in this connection. You're no longer feeling unfulfilled or driven in different directions. You are seeing it progressing and moving into something new. It's like I've been waiting for this waiting for you to say something or waiting for you to take action and now you have bringing the truth to the surface we have physical and emotional healing as well deep cellular healing and we have falling into my arms surrender holding the opposites and the extremes of life so someone who's actually just surrendering to how they feel they're just letting go they're letting go of their fears they're well they're i shouldn't say they're letting go of their fears because fear is probably going to be in their backpack but they're letting go of anything that's stopping them over the next 30 days. I do feel like it will 
potentially come in at the tail end of that time period for the majority of the collective that is watching. What action will they take towards you over the next 30 days? And it's already a plan in the works. And I feel like you are normally the person who would be really good at thinking on your feet, but it takes you off guard because it's not something you expect because it feels like it's really out of character for this person. We have breathe through the tension, full moon in Scorpio. And to be honest with you, it feels like you're preparing for changes in this connection over the next 30 days or the actions that they take will create changes in this connection over the next 30 days. And they're t I feel like it's sexual tension, if I'm honest. I feel a lot of sexual tension coming in. A lot of Scorpio energy. It says reflect on your priorities. Back of the deck says it's time to attune to the divine, the full moon in Pisces. And in this moment, again, Spirit says you may not even have time in that moment when they act upon you to reflect upon your priorities because you're going to have to think on your feet. But it's after the fact. It's after the fact where you have decisions to make, after this person makes some type of move towards you about where you want to continue to see that progression in the future. Oopsie daisy. That's too many. We have love, wild rose fairy, bringing love into the situation. It feels more like lust <laughs> at this moment in time, but this could be a carrier pigeon or some type of chariot towards love and towards more depth of emotion here too. We have brand new beginnings that are waiting for you, the daffodil fairy. And I, it feels like almost like a crush situation or someone who's crushing on the divine feminine. We also have knowledge, the air spirit. And it's going to be the Divine Feminine, I feel, the air energy that's going to have to take what they experience to make a discern discernible decision about where this direction is going to take us. But there's they're talking about so much clarity coming in for you over the next 30 days. So in the very least, things are going to be clarified for you. You're going to have a, a very clear indication about this person's feelings, their intentions towards you, which is going to give you the opportunity to make really important choices about whether you want to involve yourself in that cycle in the next chapter and there's a lot of potential for you pile one for the next chapter in this connection as well advice please for pile number one when it comes to the next 30 days in this connection play among the grass and wild violets light undisturbed little secrets to uncover so your guide's advice for you over the next 30 days pal one is don't be afraid to start small don't be afraid to start something new don't be afraid to include yourself in this cycle and to have fun with this person um and perhaps even encourage them because they feel like they're a little bit insecure or shy to take the steps that are the actions that they're feeling like they have to take with a plan that they're making so they're just encouraging you to enjoy this cycle to enjoy the connection and they say that you can trust in your own discernment to make decisions about where this is going to move next. But it's not over. Even after the 30-day mark, it doesn't feel like it's over. It feels like it's just beginning. Advice, please, for pile number one. The Magician. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they take action in a very communicative way. It almost feels like a physical pressure that gets released um some type of burst of expression it, it they could it feels physical it could have aspects of communication mixed in but it feels very physical as well i also feel like they're just dropping their defenses it's like throwing caution to the wind in some way in their actions towards you because they may have been trying to like micromanage and that wasn't working We have OJ, we have K, T, and N for letters and initials in the bowl. We also have here a tree of life. I do think about investments and taking a leap of faith. We have wishes that do come true, pal one. It's going to be a good 30 days for you, I feel. We also have sweet results that await you and gifts and opportunities coming in. We have the stethoscope with the heart. So I think of heart chakra and expression. So leading from a, a space of love, but also the hospital nursing connection could be resonating with you as well and we have crystal clear intentions we also have the blank card 
which is like a creative canvas. It's like your life is a canvas. You get to have the authority about where you want this connection to go beyond that 30 days. Pile number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. Drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me if you feel called to. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the sunflower and you were drawn to the rabbit spirit. And this is your reading. What actions will the person on your mind take towards you over the next 30 days? Now, the rabbit spirit says now is a lucky time. And I love the rabbit spirit because it really reflects the page of wands and taking action and fueling our curiosity and leaping into action despite some fear that could be holding on to us. So hopefully this is a good sign about clarity and action that will be taken towards you. Pile number two, please. What actions will the person on your mind take towards you over the next 30 days? We have the world. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the eight of swords. Oops. We have the seven of swords. And we have the six of swords. Back of the deck, we do have the moon and we have the ace of pentacles. So we're going to clarify as we go forward here. Two of wands. So I feel like you might have been speaking to this person online and there's been like a really strong back and forth flirtation for some time. Or there's been a, it could, doesn't have to be online, but I am getting an internet aspect coming through. We have the Four of Cups. The Five of Wands. And we have the World coming out. We also have the Star and we have the King of Wands. And they are giving me a really strong sense of connectivity and like internet energy. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. But I feel very strong flirtatious energy coming through here. And I also feel like maybe they've, they've haven't followed through with plans. I feel like it's coming from a place of fear and insecurity. And Spirit is really calling this person a bit of a fight or flight animal. Um, allowing certain things to delay them, allowing certain things to distract them but it's, it trickles down to fear. So this may communicate to you, especially for the first part of that 30 day time cycle, you may feel a little bit overlooked by this person and you may start to internalize some of the reasons why they're not speaking up or why they're not reaching out to you, why they're not communicating with you as much. The spirit doesn't want you to do that. They want you to keep your focus on you being the star. You're what's special about this connection in this moment. Um, but it's interesting because the same hurdles of insecurity that are creating this problem for them creates the same type of insecurity within you, which creates obstacles for you. So Spirit just wants you to have a clear perspective of how amazing you are and how incredible they think you are and all everything that you have survived up to this point. So you can survive the first part of that time period, um, the first half of that 30 day time period, not receiving information from them because I feel like they might leave you in the dark for in the very least the first half of that 30 day time period. But then as we transition, I do see at the tail end of that time period, communication coming in. I feel like it could come in online as well, but communication coming in and some, some delays perhaps in being able to see each other or something, but, and some, a little bit delay in the communication itself, but it still will come in within that 30 day time frame. You just may start to lose a bit of faith as those days tick away. They're also speaking about the next three months of this connection being specific or significant in some way. Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. I do feel that their actions towards you over the next 30 days will create some confusion for you that you're going to bank for later. Like how they treat you, you're not going to forget that, that you felt ignored. Even if you internalize that a little bit, you're not going to forget that you that they ignored you. Even if you forgive moving forward at when you guys start communicating, you're not going to forget that. 
they're speaking about banking that for later. And they're also talking about this person coming forward with information in or and it sounds terrible but in order to kind of make a deposit with you it's like they're coming forward to talk to you at the end of that time period so that they can make sure that they can still keep that as an option or keep this connection as an option again they're not trying to paint this person as a bad person because they are saying that they're riding the coattails of fear and that's what's causing all of this delay energy and confusion for them they're in a prison of their own making they're they have their own attachments that belong to them you don't have to carry them for them but some of the communication that comes in comes in at, at at a time when they feel like you could be slipping through their fingers and they don't want that they want to make sure that even if this insecurity holds them back that you're not going to get you're not going to slip away from them as easily as just because they stop talking or like they don't want that to happen so they're going to reach out to you you guys are going to talk online or talk in some form um, but i still feel like you might be left with a little bit of confusion moving forward confusion moving forward whether or not you want to include yourself in this cycle uh there's there's a feeling about you redirecting your focus as well and they say that you should spend the next 30 days preparing for changes in this connection whether it be changes in again a no communication cycle cycle opening up to communication or changes as well when the communication opens up and you make adjustments about your expectations moving forward they, they say that this person may be struggling from a depression actually coming through here and although they're talking about now being a lucky time for this person, they are a fight or flight animal. So their curiosity about you is what's going to draw them back in. But they are a fight or flight animal right now. And the spirit just wants to highlight that so that you don't internalize any of that because you're the star. Aquarius and Scorpio, very strong here. We have the... Seven of Pentacles, we also have the Eight of Cups. I do feel a growing impatience for you, Pau, too, when it comes to the communication coming in and a little bit of a growing emotional impatience towards this person. Um, but their actions towards you in the next 30 days are going to be very enlightening for you. It's going to give you all of the necessary tools that you need to redirect your focus, to not internalize. So after they give you the information, and even in the information that you're gaining in this reading, will help you to maintain your focus on how amazing you are so that you don't internalize any of their energies and apply them to yourself. Their thoughts, fears, and intentions are what's holding them back, and that's not your job to fix for them in the present moment. This is a lucky opportunity for them, and they have to recognize that and reach out and take that opportunity, and that's not your job to do that work for them either. So ultimately, you may get really dissatisfied with what you receive. Even though there's communication, it just doesn't feel like it's enough for you you may feel dissatisfied about it and you may have some choices that you have to make about where you want to apply your focus. I do feel like they will try to really boost up that ego when they do reach out to you. What actions can they take towards you in the next 30 days? We have here, loosen your grip, density, addiction, and let God in and coping mechanism. And I feel like the coping mechanism for this person is like freezing. It's like sometimes when we're afraid, we just freeze. We can't move. We also have double mission, light worker, star seed, and serve the world by being you. And so ultimately there is a double mission here because not only are we going to be gaining information of some kind in this connection in the future, in the next 30 days, albeit perhaps at the tail end of that period, we are also helping ourselves gain mastery over limited perspectives that other people could bring in because of their lack of action towards us. Because when people act towards us, we have emotional reactions, we're emotional beings. But we can't let the waves of other people's actions and the emotions that that cause sink our own boat. So there's a double mission here for you in maintaining your focus and also attempting to see their triggers, their prompts from a higher perspective. 
We have lifting the veil, questioning everything and anything aligned must go. And that's the whole purpose of the next 30 days for you. That's why you may start to question whether or not you want to invest in this connection moving forward because you see a lack of effort coming in from this person. Regardless of where that lack of effort stems from or their fear cycles, you're going to experience that. So you will be questioning everything. And Spirit encourage you, encourages you to lead from that heart space and don't let anything lay in your energy field that's going to impede your progress. Don't tolerate less than what you feel like you deserve in this connection moving forward. To expect the next 30 days when it comes to this person in your mind. We have here trust that all will be well, the new moon in Virgo. And they're really highlighting goddess energy. They're really highlighting the queen of pentacles. We also have think it through. And then take inspired action after what needs to be revealed is revealed to you in this moment. And even as the time ticks away, when that insecurity starts to fill you, just know that you're going to get some type of communication. And with that communication is going to come in with some type of clarity, but the real clarity is going to come in from within and the truth that resides within your heart space. Advice for pile number two, please. Over the next 30 days of this connection. We have breathe, slow down, and contemplate the tea, violets, and ivy tangled around the eaves because Spirit says you're going to have some time to do that because the communication comes in it feels like a little bit too late for your liking. And we have move, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And as with the falling leaves, it may be time to embrace change in this connection in one way or the other. But of course, you have the definitive decision at the end of the day. Let's get a turn bowl, please, for pile number two. Pile number two, please. Price in the bowl. Three of pentacles. So there's a bit of a delay in gratification here, a little bit of delay in clarity. Um, you're going to find that really unsavory. You're not going to like that. It's going to be really frustrating for you. And in some ways, it's going to bring you to kind of a benchmark in this attraction where you're going to be asking yourself, you know, what am I gaining by holding on to this? They make me feel vulnerable in this moment. But they're also speaking about this person being brought to the same benchmark when they know that this is a good opportunity. And it's like they're, tr they're trying their hardest to pull themselves up and dig in and see it through to completion but they're just i feel like they're being challenged right now by something emotional or physical like they're being challenged by mental health or insecurity oops the letter m fell out of the bowl we have o and o or i'm sorry d and c and i and t we also have a nursing cap, hospital nursing connection. We have full. We do have a little boy with a baseball cap. I think of somebody who's kind of ill-equipped. We have healing energy and looking at things from a higher perspective before we take action. Pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. I also offer private readings through my Etsy account and that link is below as well. And I do update that shop daily. So keep checking back, but I hope you come back and visit me at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three, you are drawn to the pink flower or to the squirrel spirit. And this is your reading. What action can you expect the person on your mind to take towards you between now and the next 30 days? And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you pop into this, into this video. You can count from today in the next 30 days as your time frame. But what action can you expect? The Squirrel Spirit card says, believe in yourself. And I always think of preparations for huge change when I see the squirrel. So let's take a look here. What action can you expect from this person towards you over the next 30 days? We have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Wands. We also have the world energy coming out as well. What action will they take towards you next three days? We have the Hierophant. We have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> We 
we have the Ace of Cups. Back of the deck we have the Page of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, Pile 3, you chose a very good pile. And Spirit says that you second guess yourself. This card, Believe in Yourself, is for you. They're talking about applying that truth to your heart chakra right now. That's why you're perhaps drawn to the pink flower as well, because there's a deficit where you don't have enough confidence about what you have to offer. Maybe you don't even have enough confidence to trust that this person on your mind feels similarly or really wants to take action towards you at all over the next 30 days. But I feel like there is such a good outcome for you for the next 30 days, pile three. We have the six of pentacles. And this could just be a friendship or something that you might call a friendship, but it doesn't feel like a friendship to me. We have the sun, but it's all about clarity. Things are going to be clarified. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. And I feel like if this is a friendship over the next 30 days, there is the possibility for us to move into an exploration of, of an emotional state of, of a relationship. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups. And for some, this communication, this revelation could, you know, take it to the next level, if you know what I mean. Like the actions that you take, you could feel your curiosity and it could take it to the next level. And that in and of itself is very, very enlightening um, because it feels brand new. It feels like you guys have never experienced this before. And it's so enlightening. It's like we show each other how we feel. And I love it because it feels so mutual for you, Pile 3. Like as soon as they step off of that, that bench and step off of that cliff and say, okay, this is how I'm feeling, you're right there to catch them or vice versa. Like there's just something really mutual here. Because I feel like the, yeah, this is coming, it's like the gloves are coming off. The, the lies or, and I don't want to call them lies, but somebody who's been holding back their truth, they're going to be resolved. They're going to be resolved. And I feel like it's like a lot of effort for this person to kind of step outside of their comfort zone. I feel like they're really tapping into their own strength to be able to tell you how they feel in some way. We have the nine of wands and we have the ace of cups because they're powering through. I also feel like there's a mutual energy here though between the two of you because I feel like it's on the tip of your tongue too. And as soon as one person clarifies, the other person clarifies. So if you have been holding back, your guides say you need to believe more in yourself. You need to fill that cup up with confidence because this is moving into a relationship. It's And it may not officially be official within the next 30 days, but we get the ball started. We get the ball started. It feels very, very abundant. Even the Seven of Swords is in limbo. It's supporting the Ace of Cups, which means that Spirit's encouraging you in this next chapter when you're hitting this full spectrum, when you're available to go down to a new path in this connection, not to look backwards in the rearview mirror. Because that way we're kind of drawing from the dividends from the past and we are, we're no longer doing that. We're making new deposits for the future in this connection. It still requires a decision, of course. Spirit is letting you know what action they will take towards you, but you don't have to meet them halfway. You don't have to do that. The lover speaks about having to make a choice and looking at things from a higher perspective, but the Hierophant is about two people that are meeting a crossroads and have the ability to walk through it. And this is ascension. Ascension from perhaps friendship into a relationship, pal three. Two of cups, ace of cups. It's just the beginnings. And I love that it, honestly, I feel like it's starting out with like an already built rapport, like you already have an established connection of some kind, whether it be friendship or otherwise, even if it's just an acquaintanceship, there's something established here. And that's a great foundation. I do feel like this person has a lot of fear in reaching out to you or speaking how they feel, but it's not, it's not enough to stop them. I almost get an impression that this person had a really strong mother. I don't know why that's coming out for someone that might resonate. Maybe you've talked to them about that. Like they have a really strong female um, example, even if they're the divine masculine. And that gives them enough confidence to trust in the support of the divine feminine and kind of being received well. And that's what gives them the confidence to be able to actually express. But I feel like as soon as they express, it's like they blurted out and you blurted out too. And there's like mutual clarity. And then we kind of just go off to the races here. Are the page of wands that says, I just like you. And there's a feeling about exploring something brand new in this connection and taking our time too with the Knight of Pentacles. I will say that the Knight of Pentacles or the Nine of Pentacles doesn't necessarily mean we rush there. We've built up to perhaps this opportunity and we're going to build up even farther 
into this new pathway. So we're going to go slow and we're going to explore. We may not go slow in some regards. We may not go slow in the physical department, but emotionally we might go a little slow. But there's something so exciting that's waiting for you here. You chose a very good pile, pile three. You may be holding back in this present moment too from really expressing what you really want here. Maybe you're just waiting for them and they're just waiting for you. But this gives us a chance for both of us to be vulnerable. Both of us to wave a red flag of victory because we were vulnerable. But there's freedom and choice here. I do feel like somebody in this connection feels like they're stuck in like a, a friend zone or worried about that. We have deep cellular healing, physical and emotional healing. We have here, turn your gaze within, inner authority as well. And you're the only one with that inner authority who can direct the path that you want to take in this connection as well. And we have devotion, potency, and making your life a moving prayer. It almost feels like you have conjured this up or you have manifested this energy. It says here, trust the timing. Time is not running out. Trust the wave that you came in on. And I do feel like, again, like there's been maybe a back and forth flirtation or things that have gone unsaid for way too long, which has created a little bit of a karmic debt. But that's okay because we're solving it or someone's going to solve that karmic debt over the next 30 days. Feels like the wait is over. What can you expect over the next 30 days from this person's actions towards you? Pile number three. We have magic, the moonlight enchantment. And trusting in the magic putting more faith in ourselves, putting more faith in what we have to offer. That's what's happening in this connection. It's like both of you mutually are going through this challenge or this hurdle. And we have elves playfulness, number 15. I will say that there, as much as there's a lot of emotional clarity that's coming in, I feel like there's a lot of physicality coming in for you too. A lot of physical energies to explore together and like new sexual elements to explore. And it feels like you've never gone down that road. We also have here protection number 21. And I think that that's what's kind of valuable about this exploration is oftentimes the page is just someone that wants to explore and doesn't really have anything else to offer other than that exploration in that present moment. But this person feels more reliable. It feels like they are a reliable, dependable type of person. And that's why the foundation of the friendship is such a, an asset to you moving forward. Because this is just the beginning if you choose it to be. Advice, please for pile number three. So if this isn't in a relationship right now, it could be by the end of the 30 days. Joy, make time for little things today. You will have reasons to celebrate over the next 30 days in this connection. Oops. We have here bloom and attract more than butterflies. And then rest, you don't have to solve everything today. You don't have to, just because there's an established connection and just because we're clarifying everything, it doesn't mean we have to jump to commitments. We can still just explore. We can still give us, ourselves the permission to fuel our curiosity here. And that's what they're encouraging you to do is just have fun with this, have fun in the journey. We have forgiveness, a crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. And we have be present, use the hours, don't count them. And the forgiveness could have to come in because maybe you've been delayed. Maybe you've been questioning yourself because you've been frustrated and waiting for them to come through, waiting for them to express themselves, but the wait is coming to an end. And they're, they're asking you to offer that compassion and that forgiveness, knowing that they are just anxious with fear to express themselves in a vulnerable way to you. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. Ice in the bowl for the next three days. Five of wands. We have the tower coming in in a sideways angle. So there's a feeling of limbo with the tower and trying to avoid chaos or trying to avoid upheaval. That's the challenge. That's what's making this person delay up to this point is they're just afraid of 
not ever being able to take it back and maybe losing the friendship or they just don't want to create waves in something that they already like about you. Like they already have established something with you that they really enjoy, but they want more. And I feel like it's almost the jealousy or the desire for you and the idea of you with other people that's going to be sort of the fuse that ignites them into action. But there's still this energy of like, we don't have to, we don't have to make this permanent. We have decision to make about relationships here. And we're going to start the process of a relationship and we're going to keep it, we're going to sort of keep it in a situ, it feels like we're keeping it light, this new relationship. We have the leap of change and we have transitions and clarity coming in after a long wait, I feel like, but I also feel like there could be longevity in the future of this connection. And I, there's a really strong emphasis on enjoying this process and embracing the present moment here. Wishes that do come true, the advancement of the three of wands, so beautiful music together and making beautiful music together. We have G, U, P, and L. It's like gulp, it says in the bowl. Cancer energy as well. All right, pile number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. I'm excited about your next 30 days with this person on your mind. If it resonated with you, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading if you're interested. Um, you can also check out my link for Etsy for personal reading if you feel called to. And I hope that you come back and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope you have a great day.